In this presentation we're going to look at adding hexadecimal numbers. So let's have a look at this. So perform the uh, follow, uh, following hexadecimal additions. AF5 plus 33C, A5E plus B21, 53B plus FA7, BDE plus A3C. So we're going to carry out all of these calculations here. So let's start off with the first one here, AF5 and 33C. Now you notice at the bottom I have listed out the uh, the decimal digits, the decimal numbers 0 to 15 and also the hexadecimal equivalent, but I've used two rows for the hexadecimal equivalent and the reason for that will become clear soon enough. So in the first instance we have, we're going to go from the um, right hand side and move left so we'll add those two there so the first thing we have to do is add C and 5 now quite clearly here we can see that C is equal is 12 so essentially what we're doing is adding 5 to 12 so what we're going to do is we're going to count an extra 5 from C so I'm going to start here Okay, that's a C. So we're going to count five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have one. So I'm going to put a one here, and we're going to carry the one. Okay. Now, the next thing we have is we have F, and we're going to add four to it. So I'm going to start here now. One, two, three, four so we have three here again and the last thing we are going to do is carry the one and so we have one and three uh, that's four essentially so and we have a now a is ten so count let's count forward uh, by four I'm going to just change color here and we'll do it in the second row so we'll start here this time one two three four so we have e So the answer is E31. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. A5E e, and B21. Well, we're going to start off, this one's fairly easy to get going. So E and 1, that's simply F. It's just the next one after that. Uh, 5 and 2, that's 7. And A and B. So we're going to uh, perform our calculation here again. Now recall that a is, so we can quite clearly see that A here is 10 and B is 11. So I'm going to start on B and we're going to count 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 5 here. Oops. And we're going to carry the 1. So we have 1 here. So the answer to this one is 1, 5, 7, F. Okay, so the next th one is 53B and FA7. So, um, so B and 7, so we'll start with B and we'll count out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we get 2 there and we carry the 1. Now this is a calculation we uh, carried out previously. We we're adding A to uh, four, so that's actually E. I'll just I'll do just do it again here quickly. So A one two three four. There it is again. And finally F and five. So let's start down here. F start with F one two three four five. So it's four. And uh, carry the one. There we have it there. So the answer to that one is one four e two. Okay, one four e and two. So one more to finish off. B D E plus a three c. Let's add those two out together. So we're going to start with e. And you can see there uh, that C is 12. So we're going to count out 12. 1, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that one is A, carry the 1. So we have D uh, plus 4. So we'll start here down now. So D, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that gives us 1 there again. And carry the 1. So we have this is a uh, a uh, b plus a plus one. So that's actually b plus b. So let's start here now. B. Uh, that's so that's eleven plus eleven. So b one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. So that it there is six. And carry the one again. So we have another one to carry again. Uh, so that's uh. 161A. 161A. Okay. So actually, I'll just make it a bit clearer that we carried an A from D3 and E. We carried a 1 and then we carried another one after A plus B. Okay, that ends our presentation. That's how we uh, calculate, uh, add d uh, hexadecimal numbers. And again, it ha ha is really useful to have this down at the bottom of your page. To help you work through it, you don't have, you don't need need anything as elaborate as what I have there, but it certainly does help to be able to just count them out like that, the way I've done there. Okay, that ends our presentation.